everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily and I am so excited to finally show you guys the first official photos of the most anticipated Lego Star Wars set of 2021, the Republic Gunship. This is set number 75309. It's for ages 18 and up. It comes with 3,292 pieces and this thing is absolutely massive. It's 27 inches long by 29 inches wide or 68 centimeters long by 74 centimeters wide. And the wingspan on the new 2021 gunship is absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to see this in person, which will actually be happening very soon. This set will be coming out in just over two weeks on August 1st in Lego stores as well as lego.com. Now the ship's going to be quite pricey at $350, 330 pounds, 480 Canadian and 580 Australian dollars, which is crazy. And my first impression from looking at the box art is that this thing is absolutely beautiful. It's so much slicker and smoother than the versions we got back in 2008 and 2013, which it should be as it is a UCS set. But I'm also curious what your thoughts on the set are. Let me know down in the comments below. So there's some pretty neat things to see on the box itself. So let's just dive in and talk about that for a second. I had heard some rumors earlier this summer that the emblem included on this box would not be correct. I heard that it would be the Imperial emblem rather than the Republic emblem. And that is not the case. As you can see up here, it is actually the Republic emblem. The colors are just inverted from what we would typically see, but Lego did in fact get that right. Wow, okay, so actually none of that was true and I'm so sorry, but I'm glad that I caught it before this video went live. So apparently the first batch of set number 75309, the Republic gunship has the wrong logo that will appear on the box art and instructions booklet. This will however only affect the first batch of products and will be fixed later on this year, probably around December. But because the logo was correct in the photos that you've been seeing throughout this video, I assume that the logo was correct correct. However, it is not. And it's kind of fun to say that we're getting an Imperial gunship now. Anyways, back to the video. And then when we turn the box around, something kind of cool to see is the photos on the bottom. It just shows where they got the inspiration for the set. And then it also shows a comparison between the inspiration and the actual Lego set down on the bottom right. So it's really cool that Lego included that. Now I'm of course going to dive in a little bit deeper on the actual set and all the details included. But first, let's talk minifigs. The 2021 gunship comes with two brand new exclusive minifigs, which is really exciting to get in a UCS set. First, let's take a look at Mace Windu. So this is again, a brand new minifigure, but it is very similar to the Mace Windu that we got in set number 75199. The only difference is that they added some splotches to the torso and also colored this in more white color rather than gold. The top of his torso looks like a slightly lighter color and it's also a brand new face printing, which is really exciting. The second minifig we get in the set is a clone trooper commander. And initially when I saw the official photos, I was so confused because the clone trooper commander looked orange and that would not have made any sense at all. I did not understand why they would do that. However, this is not the case at all. It is indeed yellow. And thank you so much to my friend Jay from Jay's Brick Blog for pointing that out. He actually got the set for early review and sent me some better photos of this clone trooper commander. So the way that the gunship was actually chosen to be the next UCS set was by fan vote. The Lego group invited fans to vote on the top three requested sets via the Lego Ideas website and the Republic Gunship won, of course, which is why it's the new UCS set with over 30,000 votes, which was about 58% of all the votes cast. According to the Lego Star Wars team, this set was inspired by Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, as well as the animated series, The Clone Wars. I am a bit confused as to why it wasn't also inspired by Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, but I'm assuming all of the inspiration they did get from the movies was from the Battle of Geonosis. So as for the actual ship itself, something I love about this is how much room there actually is on the interior. The set is completely open beyond the nose portion, which gives you a ton of room to display some of your clones, which I know a lot of you guys out there are gonna do. I am probably going to put all of my 501st troopers in here pretty much immediately after I build this thing. And also a little fun fact for you guys is that the large free swinging doors on both sides are some of the largest moving parts ever created in a Lego Star Wars set. So kind of cool. Another thing that almost seems necessary about this set that they did end up including is the stand. This is a massive set and I don't know how I would display this without having the stand. I would probably have to custom order something and I really hope that it does become a trend that all of these Lego Star Wars ships or other just large sets in general do come with some sort of display stand. It just makes it so much easier to have it displayed on my shelf that way. And as part of the stand, it does come with an exclusive sticker that gives you some details about the set, which I really do appreciate that. It just makes it feel a lot more 
collectible to me. Overall, I am just blown away by the new 2021 gunship. I cannot wait for August 1st to come. I will probably be in line at the Lego store on day one trying to buy this because it's just amazing. And I think the build looks so much fun. I can't wait to display it on my shelf. And something fun I'm really looking forward to doing is comparing this new set with the versions from 2008 and 2013 just to see how they compare, how they differ, and also just seeing how large this set actually is in person. Anyways, what are your thoughts on the new gunship? Are you planning on buying this set? What do you think about that price point on it? Personally, I think it's quite high, especially for other parts of the world. Make sure to leave me all of your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.